YouTube, it's Stasha Erickson. I hope you're all doing well today. Well, first I just want to say thank you to everybody who popped on to the live stream that I did yesterday for the Mandela Effect. Um, my husband popped on and helped answer a few questions and I finally figured out the interactive chat so that I could uh, read all of your guys' questions and um, answer your comments and questions live and uh, it went really great and I think that my husband and I would like to pop on and do some more of those for you guys in the future. I've also been in contact with a couple of other Mandela Effect channels and it looks like I might be doing a few live streams coming up um, over the next little while. I've been speaking with um, One Harmony, Harmony Mandela Effect aka Byron um, we're going to probably work together a little bit so he can add some of his amazing research to the Mandela Effect book that I'm writing for all of you guys. Uh, he has some great um, research into the anatomy and also into a paper that he wrote called The Physics of the Bible. Um, just super fascinating work. If you guys haven't uh, checked out his channel, just uh, go on YouTube and look for One Harmony. Also, I've spoke to Dr. Taryn Lupo, and he's invited me to come on to a live stream with him as well. So I've just been talking back and forth with him um, to set that up for all of you guys. So I'll make an announcement soon. And I also wanted to thank uh, Richie from Boston. I've been giving him some shout outs lately on my in, in my videos. And um, he had actually pledged to my channel on Patreon yesterday, and so I pledged to him also, and I just wanted to say thank you to Richie from Boston for not giving up. Ever since the YouTube adpocalypse has happened, many people have left their channels, and he's one of the few people that just hasn't given up, so I just really want to give him some praise also. Um, and uh, for those of you who did <laughs> see the live stream yesterday, towards the end, I got my first live troll, and I had not dealt with that before in a live setting, but... Um, it was interesting, I kind of watched back that part when the troll was kind of calling me out a little bit and one of the things the troll said was um, basically one of my clients came on and asked me if I had any spiritual teachers that I looked up to besides Doreen Virtue. And I sat there for like 20 minutes trying to think of another spiritual teacher that I looked up to and I really just couldn't come up with one. Uh, I mentioned a lot of truth channels on YouTube that, that are really helpful and um, that are inspiring to me, but I couldn't think of a single spiritual leader besides maybe Doreen Virtue that's currently out there right now that you can look up to. And, um, and the main reason I just wanted to explain why I couldn't think of anybody is because what I was really trying to get through to people is that the only spiritual person that I look up to is God or Jesus Christ. Um, and I feel like that's not enough for people. You know, I'm trying to explain to people that I study the word that was there before we existed as human beings. I try not to study regurgitated words that have come out of the New Age community because I've done so much research about where the New Age community came from. And um, yeah, I just know it's a deception. And although even our Bible has been changed many, many, many times over the years, there are original versions of the Bible out there, like the Hebrew Bible, for instance. You just have to look a little bit harder um, for the answers. So I'm sorry I couldn't think of any other spiritual people that I looked up to right now. I really wish I had more people to look up to, but um, that's just kind of the direction that this content has gone over the years, you know? <laughs> So anyway, I, I do look up to a lot of human beings, but it's just very hard for me to find spiritual leaders or gurus that are legitimate. You know, there's just always some kind of an agenda behind them. So if anybody out there knows of any spiritual gurus that are inspiring that I could look up to, let me know in the comments. But for now, I'm sticking to the only person I look up to spiritually is God or Jesus Christ. So if that's not good enough for people, I'm sorry, but that's my answer. So anyway, um, beyond that, um, I had a Mandela effect that has been coming up for a while now and I hadn't shared it with all of you and so I wanted to um, talk about this Mandela effect a little bit. Um, the Mandela effect that I'm referring to now is the issue of daylight savings time. Now daylight savings time has been always a thing in my mind. I have always known of it as daylight savings time. 
And then lately, over the past six months, when we went in through daylight savings time, I noticed that um, basically it was no longer called daylight savings time anymore. Now it is known as daylight saving time. Now again, just like the Julia Childs versus Julia Child video that I made the other day, this has come up a lot with the Mandela effect. There is something very strange about adding an S to the end of words that whoever is in charge of this Mandela effect does not like. We've seen this happen with Sally Fields changing to Sally Field. We have seen Christopher Reeves change to Christopher Reeve. Um, there's a lot more. I can't even think of them all right now, but there's many, many cases of this where they're dropping the S at the end of words. So I don't know what that means or what that's all about. But as I'm talking here, I'm going to show you guys some screenshots of um, daylight saving time versus daylight savings time. Now, even when daylight savings was happening, it was the last time it happened was a few months ago. And I was uh, traveling through California at the time, and I saw two different news broadcasts that were um, sent out on the same day. And one of them said, the history of daylight saving time. And then the other video said, the history of daylight savings time. Now again, this doesn't reinvent the wheel if they drop the S from daylight saving or daylight savings. But what is going on here? I would really love to hear in the comments if any other Mandela Effect researchers have found some type of common thread as to why the Mandela Effect keeps dropping the letter S from the end of names. I just really, I cannot figure it out. So I'm going to leave you guys screenshots throughout this video. Please let me know what you guys remember as far as daylight saving time goes. I will put up some screenshots of the Wikipedia article giving the history behind it. But something's definitely going on with this. I don't know what that's all about. I do know that time is, is, is a big part of the Mandela effect and time travel and time control and quantum traveling and all this stuff. So is there some connection between the daylight saving and the daylight savings? I would really love to hear your guys' feedback. Also, please let me know in the comments below, do you remember daylight saving or do you remember daylight savings? There's got to be an answer here. I just really need to figure out what this is all about so that I can add this to the next chapter of the Mandela Effect book. For those of you that have um, contributed to the Mandela Effect book, I just want to thank you guys again. Um, it's really coming together. I'm wrapping up chapters left and right, and I just want to get it out there. Even if it's not the best book in the world, I just want to get everybody's research compiled and out there as soon as possible before these effects continue to change again. I have watched many Mandela effects change right in front of my eyes. So there's nothing to make me think that they won't continue to change things back. So the sooner we can get this stuff in print, in black and white, and in an ebook format, we can really, really start lining all these clues up. In fact, when the book is published, I would love to give it over to a few of you out there that are really good at um, kind of figuring out puzzles and clues. Because I think if we can line up all the Mandela effects in a row from A to Z, we can find some type of cipher or code or clue in all of this. There's definitely some type of common thread. I almost wish we could just get Stephen Hawking on this one or something, but even he can't be trusted. <laughs> okay, guys, I love you ever so much. I will be back with more. I'll let you guys know when I'll be doing some upcoming live streams. I also have, God, I have all the questions that you guys sent in to me for the last um, Q&A session, and I just didn't get a chance to answer them all because so many of you came on live via chat. So um, I will probably maybe make a video just to answer the rest of those questions. It's very hard to answer questions in detail when I have live chats and live questions coming in as well. But please take a chance and watch the live stream if you haven't. Um, it hit like 147 views within the first couple of hours, and then the, the view count has frozen. YouTube is always doing this to me. So they've stopped the live stream from being viewed. It says it's been blocked in multiple countries, so I don't know which countries I'm being blocked from, but they're just taking a full-time job to attack me lately. It's crazy. So I love you guys ever so much. I will be back with more. Please hop over to Patreon if you can support me there. It's just $1 a month. And also check out the um, Mandela Effect book project that I have going on in the description box of every video. And um, yeah, we're going to get to the bottom of this effect if it is the last thing that we do, folks. 
Okay, guys, I love you ever so much, and I will be back with more. Bye-bye.